Hey guys, it's Kieran from Server Pro here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up the Phoenix anti cheat plugin on your Minecraft server with Server Pro. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you'll need to do is install the Phoenix anti cheat plugin and the Protocol Lib plugin. The Protocol Lib is a dependency of Phoenix anti cheat, which means you need to install it for Phoenix anti cheat to work. So you'll need to go to the control panel for your, the server that you wish to install these plugins on. Make sure you, you're running Spigot already so that the plugin is compatible with the server. And then on the left hand side, click the plugins tab. And then under the Spigot plugin tab, search for Phoenix Anti-Cheat. If it doesn't come up already like it has done here, click search and then click install latest. And then once you've installed that, you'll need to search protocol lib, which is a plugin that Phoenix anti cheat requires, and then click install latest. And then once you've installed both of them, you can restart the server. So once you've installed the plugins and restarted the server, go to the console tab. And we can just check that the server started up without any problems. The way you check for this is just look for the done message, and this usually means that the server started up. It doesn't necessarily mean the plugin's working. The way you can check if the plugin's working is by logging into the game. So we'll join our server now. So I'll just join the server. And then we can check running the command slash plugin. So if we just run the command slash plugins, that will show the plugins that are currently installed on the server. And pack is short for Phoenix anti cheat. And if a plugin is green, it usually means it's functioning correctly. So if we just type a pack command and give ourselves permission, we can give ourselves permission by going back to the console and OPing ourselves. And there you can see the plugins loading correctly as we're able to do commands. So if we head back to the um, control panel, we can take a look at the configuration file for this plugin. So, on the control panel, to access the Phoenix anti-cheat configuration file, you'll need to go into the file manager, which is located here on the left hand side. Then open the plugins folder, open the PAC folder, and then open the config.yml file. And here you'll be able to see all the settings that were able to change for the Phoenix anti-cheat plugin. So a lot of these can be quite complex, like under the values tabs and so on, but we're just going to go through this on a very basic level so that you have an idea on how to set it up for your server to start off with. So the first thing I'm going to change is under this messages section, I'm going to change the tag. So rather than having PAC come up, I want it to be more personalized towards my server. So my server is called YouTube. So I'm going to um, change it to YouTube and then put dash AC standing for anti-cheat. So now when someone types a command to do with Phoenix anti-cheat, it will come up with YouTube dash anti-cheat rather than pack. And then below this, you can change um, what message appears when someone doesn't have access to a Phoenix anti-cheat permission. Um, so I'm just going to leave this as it is now because I'm fine with it like that. But feel free to change it to something funny or more personalized towards your server. So below, you'll be able to enable or disable whether the plugin detects for, um, for a certain hack. So in this case, Kill Aura, um, I'm going to leave it as enabled as I want it to detect this and block against it. And you can do this for every single um, hack that is included with this um, anti-cheat plugin. And then below that you can change various values which can get quite complex and I suggest just leaving them as normal unless you're having certain problems with specific ones. And then below that within each um, hack setting you're able to change the actions that happen once um, it detects that hack by a user. So say if someone's using Kill Aura these are the actions that will take place when this hack is detected. So in this case, it's just going to notify the um, administrators on the server and cancel the um, hack, obviously. So, for example, if we go down here to the spam hack, um, not really hack, but yeah, you can see underneath the actions that what happens is it kicks a player after five attempts and it will send the message spam is not allowed um, when the player is kicked. So you could change this to something else like spam is not allowed um don't come back so when they get kicked this is the message that will come up so you could change it to something like that if you wanted to um, and you can just do this for the rest of the settings um, and then once you're done save the file and then if we go and join our server 
and we type the command slash pack reload you'll see that it's applied the changes that we've made. As you can see here, it's changed from pack to the message or tag that we set it to, which is YouTube-AC. So that's how you edit um, and install the Phoenix Anti-Cheat plugin. Um, and then you, there's a couple more commands which you can use if you type slash pack. Um, for example, the menu, it brings up a GUI, which you can change, um, where you can disable or enable um, certain hacks um, and whether they're detected or not by clicking the box. Red means disabled, green means um, it will detect against them. So yeah, that's how you install and configure Phoenix Anti-Cheat. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support. Feel free to watch any of our other videos, um, they may be of help to you. Um, so thank you for watching, have a great day and goodbye.